The UAE Global Management Challenge is now officially underway. It's the largest international event based on business simulation model with more than 30 countries taking part in the contest. It also aims in part to encourage young Emiratis to experience life in the private sector. Well, I spoke to Pedro Alves Costa, who is behind the challenge earlier on. I asked him where the idea for it came from. The idea started in uh, 1980 with the founder of the company uh, and he was a professor in the university and uh, the idea came f to, 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 to have a, a competition, uh, an event based uh, on this simulator which uh, he, f he, he thought it was a powerful learning tool. So the primary objective of the participating teams is to learn uh, management, is to learn how to run a company. They assume the board of directors of, of a company and they need to take decisions and they need to manage this company for a certain period of time, taking into consideration their competitors and the market itself. So in what ways will the UAE Global Management Challenge encourage amortization? I believe it's a perfect opportunity, a good opportunity for uh, uh, people from uh, uh, Emirates to, to learn how to how to a private company, a small medium size listed in a stock exchange company can be run and using different scenarios, developing, as I said, business competencies and also soft skills like teamwork, leadership. Can you explain to us a little bit more about the management simulation that we're hearing about in the challenge? Participants, they form teams up between three and, fi and, and five persons. They, they assume the board of directors of this virtual company and they are allocated to different markets and then it works like the World Cup uh, soccer. Uh, so there is a first phase, a qualification phase, a semi-final phase and then a final phase. Uh, and then we have the, the national winner, the, the, the team uh, that has the best investment performance that will represent the country in the, in the international final. So are there winners and losers when it comes to the challenge? I mean, like there are in the real business world. There are losers. There is only one winner. We, we will have the, the national uh, winner team, but we believe that uh, uh, losing is part of, <laughs> of learning and it's a powerful tool, as I said. Uh, we truly believe it's a powerful tool for, for, for education, learning, and especially to encourage uh, entrepreneurship. Pedro Alves Costa there, and you can find out more about the UAE Global Challenge by logging on to worldgmc.com.